How's it going everybody? I got a quick tutorial for you today in Minecraft. We are back in the flat world and it is about the um, or it is about a combination lock that uses different colored wool as the combination uh, and I can't take full credit for this idea. As a matter of fact, I can't take any of this credit. I Today I just saw a video um, on oh god I'm gonna get the letters wrong C N B Minecraft I think it is C N B Minecraft with F E Disco and of course C N B Minecraft um, and they made a video about a combination lock that actually shows the numbers and I thought that would be awesome in uh, survival like for a let's play or something like that as a pretty intense combination lock but you wouldn't want to make all those letters or anything so I decided that colored wool would be good enough and so this is that's what this is here um, this was the first design pay no attention but if I pull in the combination which I happen to know which is red green blue RGB Wait for it. Oh, I think I pushed the buttons too fast. Um, because those one, two, one, two. Three. Yep, I definitely pushed the buttons too fast because they're all like one spot behind. All right. Well, so obviously it's not flawless. Um, but I will be able to give you a good demonstration. Um, but before I, you know, waste more of your time with potential flawed demonstrations, I'm going to uh, show you a little bit about the... Oh, this one was two behind. Um, MC Edit. I actually did use MC Edit for this, but you don't need it. Um, it was just a time thing for me, so MC Edit could have thrown it off, too, when I copied it. But um, if you, as you can see... I can demonstrate. So this is, is the combination now. I've reset it. So if I move one, the door does close. Um, and then we can see now if I go back to it, if the door opens, I'm probably setting myself up for failure and I shouldn't even risk it, but we'll see. Nope, good. Okay, so it does, it does work. It does cycle through the combinations. But there's a couple things you need to know. Now, I'm assuming that we're very beginners at redstone, but I'm going to go quickly, so if you're not a beginner, it's okay. So this is an AND gate. This is something that is used to check if all if your combination is correct um, by seeing if two things are powered. So here are our inputs, and the output is over here. And if you look, the output is only powered when both inputs are powered. Okay, and you build it by putting three blocks with redstone in the middle one, redstone torches on the side ones, and then redstone torch coming off the side of this one. And that will only turn on when neither of these are powered, and that neither of these will be powered when both of your inputs are powered. So that's that. The next one is a block, what I call block belts. I don't know what they're actually called. Um, and basically, I didn't rig up an automatic one. I went over it in the redstone clock tutorial. Uh, it was one circling on the ground horizontally. This one's vertical. Um, and it, there's five different combinations, and there are different colored wool. Um, but we're also going to need two per... Yeah, we'll get into that later. But the idea is if you trigger these pistons, which I'm just going to use as piston, uh, with buttons here, in the right order... The blocks are going to cycle one. So green is selected now, but you know next to the sign with the arrow. And if we do it again, it should be the next color, which is blue. And we can get that to loop. Now, obviously, if we do redstone to do it automatically, it's not going to be that slow. Uh, all right. So the the next one is the difference between glass and normal blocks. Uh, in this, in the way we're using it, there's lots of differences, but uh, in the sense that we're using it, it is that it won't cut off redstone. So, if redstone comes here, uh, normally without this iron block, it would jump up. You can see there's redstone dust on the side here. Jump up, and it would turn off this torch. 
but with the block there it doesn't. With glass, you can see you still get it on the wall, don't get on the wall there, and you get it, the torch turned off. So that's going to be used. And the last one is vertical wires used on glowstone. This one may not be necessary if you don't care about how big you make it. For instance, if maybe each um, section of your combination lock is going to be really far apart so that you have to know the combination and travel between them, then uh, you know maybe you can afford to not use this because glowstone is a little expensive if you're playing in survival mode, but basically you can do vertical wiring like this. Um, I'm going to go over here and make another demonstration because I put a little extra stuff on that one. Simply like this. Oops. Um, because you cannot power glowstone. So it's, it's, it's kind of the same property right here. I think you can do it with glass too, but you can't place redstone on glass. So you can't do it with glass. But if you could place redstone on glass, you could do this with glass. Um, and what I, the reason why I have these iron blocks here is to show what you can and can't do with the vertical wire. You can't just place it next to the block because these glowstone blocks are not powered. So you can't place it next to glowstone blocks here. But you can branch off from the wire going up. Um, so right here will work too because it's going up for some reason. I don't know. Not 100% clear on it. But... I just know what you can and can't do. Alright, so now, uh, time to look at the actual design of the redstone. There's a lot of blocks, there's a lot of colors, do not be scared, it's simple. Um, it is the same, same thing three times, as I said, ignore this. Um, it worked, but it was way too big. Um, and so the first thing we're going to look at is the very end of this whole uh, operation here. And that is two AND gates that we talked about in the very beginning. So right now the door is open and the combination is entered so it is the correct combination is entered so that means that this is on the correct um, color block so it's powered this is on the correct color block so it's powered and this is on the correct color block so it's powered so that means that uh, if you put in two AND gates right this is only going to be on when both when the first two are correct and then the third one, if the first two are the correct and the third one is correct, then that means all three of them are correct. So an AND gate there will be the output. Now obviously you probably want to hide the wire, but that's just a detail I didn't want to worry about. Alright, next. Next we will look at the use of the belts. Alright, so it's going to be a little tight squeeze, uh, but I hope I get a good view. Um, these blocks are kind of aesthetic. We can get rid of those two, get it to look a little better. So as you can see, we have our belt here. But we also have another belt over here. So this belt is fired by this button. So this button powers this wire, which travels up the vertical glowstone and first pushes this piston and then comes down here one tick later that piston, one tick later this piston, and a bunch of ticks later because I was having some weird problems, um, this piston. And that will do the cycle. So every push of the button we're gonna get another cycle. So then that that's for the color look, you know, looking at the color. But that doesn't get us anywhere as far as function goes because you need to detect when it's on the right one. So this one, if you remember, it was RGB, so r red, green, blue. That's the combination. Blue is here. Um, so if you look over here, we have another belt made with glass and a dirt block. And dirt block, the dirt block is in the same spot as the blue uh, wool. So when blue is in one place, the dirt block is in the same place. And, th and this right here is when blue is within view of the person. So when the dirt block is here, that means that it's the right combination. So you can detect that, that when the dirt, it's, it's another belt and it's actually triggered in a very same similar way. But because of the extending the wire f down here to get it to, as you can see, like they look very similar how they're, um, 
rotated, uh, or, you know, they've got this vertical wire, the vertical wire, so it's very similarly wired. But, um, if you look, this would get in the way of this, this descending of the wire. So that's why this one has a little wraparound on the top. Um, and that unfortunately made it one block wider, but that's fine. But anyways, so this is a second belt here. And if we look right... Oh my god, I can't get in anywhere here. Alright, if we look under this glowstone block, there's a redstone torch. Now, as I said before, you cannot power glowstone. So, this so putting a torch under it doesn't affect the wiring up here. So, with that torch under there, we could power it. That was just like the best place to squeeze it without interfering with anything. That's why it's there. And uh, we can power uh, this line right here. So it comes along, right? So if, if this, so this is um, dirt, so it cuts it off. But if we push the button and rotate both the blocks so it's on yellow, and so that the dirt block is, you know, up here now, now the wire does not get cut off by the dirt block and the glass block lets it through so then you know all you have to do is invert the power with the redstone torch and it'll be off and then when this is off that means that the AND gate does not fire which means the door stays shut um, so I'd like to build it for you on camera right now but I don't know if that's going to be helpful because it's a lot of the same stuff and we just kind of talked about it. So if you're someone who's decent at redstone, you'll probably be able to pull it off with what I just said. But if you're a beginner, then I don't think you will be able to pull it off because it's hard to remember which what blocks are going to be powered and everything. Um... Although beginners at Redstorm might not be looking for this kind of a combination lock. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think it's going to be helpful for me to build it. If you do think it's going to be helpful for me to build it step by step, block by block, to tell you how many ticks each repeater is going to go, everything like that, let me know in the comment section below um, or somewhere else. And also look for this to be implemented in my Let's Play, potentially. Um... I don't know where yet, I need a lot of space, but I'd love to see if I could do this and hook it up to a hidden door as opposed to an iron door, because obviously if it's a multiplayer let's play, break down the door, walk in, see what you're hiding. Um, no use for a combination lock, so hidden doors are better. But um, anyways, yeah, so if you want me to build this, I would be happy to do that. Um, I could do it really soon too, so... Um, let me know, uh, and, um, I would be happy to do that. Um, obviously, if you wanted it to have a longer combination, you could copy, well, I mean, if you do MCM, edit, copy, and paste, but also just keep building. It gets pretty expensive pretty fast with all the glowstone, though. But, um, out wider, and then add more AND gates connecting to each other. Um and then you'd have yourself like a five combination lock um also if you're willing to get a little trick big with the redstone and everything like that you could see if you could expand the belts i mean you'd still only need to power four pistons but they'd be spread apart a lot more you could make the belt bigger and have more options so obviously there's red um green blue, yellow, and then black, I, was, I wasn't I was even, that's kind of just like when you want to reset it so that, you know, no one knows what the combination is. Because, like, if you just you set it to something random, that might be, I don't know, so I was thinking, like, the default would be black, maybe. So, th so there's only really four colors choices, but then also black could be one, so there's only, I think I'm going too fast again. Let's see if they're equal. Nope, that one didn't work. That one didn't work. 
That one didn't work. As I said, I had problems, which is why these last pistons are on super high delays. So my guess is that I'm pushing the button again before they finish. Um, so that would have to be worked out um, or just be super slow with it. But I mean, you saw that I could change these and both would change e or equally when I did it slowly. So that's the flaw with this. Um, and as always, if you find a more compact way to wire it, if you, uh, you know, figure out a easier way to do it, if all this can be solved with like four blocks in a row, like, I don't know, some people can do crazy things if they get a hold of redstone ore or something like that, I don't know, then, um, let, uh, let me know, and I would be happy to link you in this video. Some people that find this to you if you make a video about it. Or I can make a video about it and give you credit. I don't know. Whatever. Alright, so I'm, I'm rambling. We're done with the video now. Um, so, yep. Thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, please show some support. Really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next video.